Okay, in the second installment of the CIP tutorial, um, we're going to go ahead and make internal tags. In the first one, we created some external tags or output tags and input tags. So now we're going to create some user defined tags. And uh, we're going to call it CIP. And then we're going to just add some members to this CIP uh, structure. We'll start out with a sequence or a control um, data type. Uh, for our sequencer. Uh, the sequencer output instruction requires that you have a control data type. It's a predefined data type. You can look it up, find it right there. We'll give a little description, call it our sequencer control. And all the elements that come with that control necessary to run the sequencer output instruction come right along with it. The next thing we're going to do is create our output word. And this output word is the word that we're going to use to actually turn our outputs on and off. And um, we'll do that. The sequencer control or the instruction will sequence data from our database, which we're creating right now called the output array. It's uh, going to be a database of 20 dints. It'll sequence the data from this array into our output word, and our output word we'll use to turn outputs on and off. Fairly simple, right? So we made that 20 elements long, and we'll give it a description, our output array, just like our tag name. And another thing that uh, a sequence or output instruction requires is a mask, and a mask is nothing more than a filter. We'll, we'll give it a dent data type. And last but least, uh, we'll give a, a way to step through. The sequencer output instruction um, is triggered from a false to true transition. So we'll just make a little Boolean bit here. And we'll just call it next step. And for now, that's it. What you can do is move your data structure up and down, which uh, I'll show you. Uh, just move that output array up, hit apply, and you can see we're using 104 bytes. And it, this comes into play a little bit more when you're when you're looking at processor memory because the way you organize your structure to, it takes different memory. It takes more memory or less memory. Um, so we're going to go ahead and create a new tag, call it tank one, and it's going to be the data type CIP, one we just created. Hit OK, and you can see that it brought in all the members that we just created. And we can address those down to the bit level if we'd like. So that concludes this tutorial.